Settling into their new home. These 10-month-old European wolf cubs will be monitored in their new surroundings by experts from Sweden. The wolf is, is a mainly unstudied species because it's a very elusive and very fearful species, so it's very, very hard to conduct studies in the wild. So having them like this is a great opportunity to, to get to know what wolves are really about. Christina and her colleagues have helped the wolves settle in as they want to work out how they compare to domestic dogs. We are very interested in how behaviour has changed when we domesticated uh, the dog from the grey wolf at least 15,000 years ago. Um, and we are interested in seeing if the similarities and all the differences actually are um, there from the beginning, if they're born different or if it's something that develops over time. This was the animals at seven weeks old. They've been reared alongside puppies and it's not hard to see the similarities. Well, just to prove the bond between the scientists and the wolves, the animals have actually been given names all after musicians. We've got Elvis, Sting, Moby, PJ, KD and Lemmy. And I'm told he's the real troublemaker. The scientific study is one part of the reason for the wolves coming to Devon. They haven't been wild in Britain for hundreds of years, but some want that to change. Wolves in the wild could send a, a shudder down some people's spines though, couldn't it? It can indeed, and that's what part of the reason why we're doing what we're doing here. Um, there is a great deal of uh, mythology surrounding the wolves. They've had a, fan uh, a, a real impact on our culture and on our environment, and uh, they have acquired a reputation. And much of that reputation is uh, not deserved. These wolves will remain in quarantine for four months, then visitors will get a chance to see them. And as for getting into the wild in time, northern Scotland is the most likely location. Hamish Marshall, BBC Spotlight, near Honiton.